Hey, what's up, Lee Ron here. Wanted to film a real quick video for you, trying to squeeze all the time I have. Uh, as you may know, I talked about in a previous video, I'm a dad, so a bit less free time. I wanted to share with you this painting in progress, real, real spontaneous, I had this thought. If you look at this thing, there is something quite different from how I usually uh, paint pretty much anything. I did something quite different here, and if you look at it for a couple of seconds, you'll, you'll figure out what it is. Uh, so you may notice, and you've seen multiple iterations of a very similar or this same scene, um, there's something here that's different, and it's the texture. So I actually painted the marble texture. This is something I often shy away from, painting textures, and I somehow got to paint it here. Uh, while I was working on it at around this area, I was sure I destroyed the painting. I, was, I thought to myself, I ruined it. Uh, the thing is trashed. And I was sure it's, it's done. And I, I started thinking about how I can uh, glaze over it with opaque paint or somehow lift it. And I decided to just go with it. You know, if I'm painting the same values I'm seeing, I'm painting a similar, somewhat similar texture, I decided to just continue. And <laughs> when I got to here, I'm like, okay, let's look at it from afar. And it actually works. I wasn't expecting it to work. It actually works. So my very quick message to you is, um, first off, don't listen to me. Don't listen to anyone who tells you that one thing is not, maybe don't avoid that, you know, avoid, don't paint each and every detail. That's something that people often say. I, I don't usually say that, but people often say they use it as some kind of a truism. Don't paint everything you see. The magic is in simplifying. Not necessarily. Sometimes there is something you're seeing in high resolution, high details, you want to include it. In this example, it did feel a little empty before I placed the marble texture. And as I started putting it in and it's, things started connecting for me in my mind, I was blown away by how it just solidified things. And I'm going to add more of the texture here to the darks. You see, I started here, adding it to the darks and here as well. Once I put it here, it's going to further enhance the impression. Um, so don't listen to me or anyone else. And um, I think just if you have a hint or a hunch for something you think will work, it's worth giving it a try. Honestly, that's how I kept on improving over the past almost decade of painting in watercolor. I always allowed myself to give things a try. Um, and sometimes you can get into a pattern, a habit and forget it and stop doing it and stop doing the thing that actually got you to succeed. You know, sometimes people say the thing that got you to this point won't get you to the next point. Again, not necessarily. Um, so just something to have in mind. Don't, you don't have to avoid textures as well. There are no rules. I always tell you, paint it as you want to, paint it as you wish, paint it in a way that inspires you. And textures are okay to paint. If you want to paint each and every shingle, if you want to paint a simplified version of shingles where you see on roofs from afar, if you want to, if you want to paint the entire details of a floor, all the tiles one by one, go for it, you know. Um, it really depends on what you like, what you enjoy, and the impression you enjoy seeing. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed this quick, quick one. I do have a couple of videos planned out soon that are more full length, but I just wanted to share with you this process. I will share probably the end results scan. I'm going to finish it in about an hour. Also post it on Instagram and here. Uh, so in any case, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who supports me over on Patreon. Really appreciate that. Uh, if you want to receive credits at the end of the videos, be sure to check that out. Also more um, exclusive content coming there soon in the near future. Thank you so, so much. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.